as I say, I strongly disagree with this uh, decision of the of the Supreme Court. I have the utmost respect for our judiciary. I don't think this was the right decision. I think that uh, the prerogative of prorogation has been used for, for centuries uh, without, this kind of, uh, without this kind of challenge. It's perfectly usual to have a, a Queen's speech. That's what we want to do. But more importantly, let's be in no doubt, uh, there are a lot of people who want to frustrate Brexit. There are a lot of people who basically want to stop this country coming out of the EU. And we have a, a parliament that is unable to uh, be prorogued, is unable to, uh, doesn't want to have an election. Uh, and I think it's time we took things forward. You say you won't extend Brexit, but how do you avoid doing that now? You've run out of options. Well, on the contrary, uh, the, uh, the law, as the law currently stands, uh, the UK leaves the EU on October the 31st, uh, come what may. But uh, the interesting thing, that the exciting thing for us now is to, is to get a, a good deal, and that's what we're working on. And look, I'll be honest with you, John, it's not made much easier by this kind of stuff in, in, in Parliament or in, in the courts. Obviously, getting a deal is not made uh, much easier against this uh, background, but we're going to get on and do it. Okay, just finally, you say, as the law stands, we leave on October the 31st. That's not true, is it? As the law stands, we cannot leave with no deal on October the 31st without the permission of Parliament. Well, uh, as the law stands, uh, we leave on October the 31st, and I'm very uh, hopeful that we will get a deal. And I think what the people of the, of the country want is to see uh, parliamentarians coming together, uh, working on, uh, in the national interest, to get this thing done. And that's what we're going to do. Prime Minister, thank you. Thank you.